Hi everyone! Um, I thought I would do a video. It's kind of showing off a bit, but I, I can't help it. I love it so much and I thought that you guys would like to see it. So, oh goodness, <laughs> as Harper tries to escape again. I thought I would show you guys um, my rat tattoo. So, um, here we go. It's on my foot. So here it is. Um, these are rat paw prints. Um, I actually, um, these are real paw prints from my previous rats, Raya and Chiquita. Um, this, this one right here is Raya's back paw print, and this one is Chiquita's back paw print. And then the, these two are just kind of more general rat ones. I wanted to pay homage to my first two rats, but... <laughs> but also kind of have it for all the future rats and just rats in general. So that's why that's like that. You can tell which one's Raya's and which one's Chiquita's because Raya was 600 grams and Chiquita was 290 grams. You can see how this one is much bigger than this one. So, um, but yeah, so I thought I would kind of show that off a little bit. I love it. I can't say enough how much I love it. Um, especially now that my rats are gone now, at Ryan and Chiquita are. <laughs> Harper is trying to escape over and over again. Um, but anyways, I, I just, this has so much more meaning now that they're gone, but it also just, I love having my rats, like, crawl all over my foot now, because it's just really cute to have them over my foot when I've got this tattoo. Right, Harper? <laughs> But I thought I would also um, talk about how to get your rat's um, paw prints because it's actually really easy um, and I actually have paw prints from, um, oh gosh, hold on, sorry about that, Harper escaped, <laughs> so I had to go get her. So we're all back in the playpen, hopefully for at least another minute or so. <laughs> But, um, anyways, I thought I would tell you guys how to get your paw prints. Um, it's really easy. I have it with, um, I have Raya's and Chiquita's, obviously, because I had to bring it to the tattoo artist to, um, Trace to do my, uh, tattoo. But I also have Phoebe's. So, they were my, kind of, first original mischief. So, I made sure I had theirs. And I haven't done these guys yet, just because they're a little bit too crazy still. But, um... Eventually, I will do theirs. I'll probably do them over the summer when I'm back home. <laughs> oh, crazy Harper. So anyways, so here's how I did it. Um, I think that this is probably the best way. I'm, I'm, I thought about this for a while, and I think that this way works the best. Um, so what I did was I used an ink pad that was a non-toxic, washable, kind of like a kid's ink pad. Um, it was black. Um, you, you can get them at the store for um, stamping and things like that. Um, no. So, <laughs> um, so what I did was I would grab them and take their little feet and put it on there like this. Thanks Harper. <laughs> and I would actually push their feet a little bit onto it um, so that it got onto the pads. And then what I did was I set up a small box that was the size of computer paper. It was a little bit bigger than an actual piece of computer paper, but it had pretty high sides um, so that it wasn't easy for them to jump out. Except for Harper, she'd probably jump out. <laughs> but So then I put the piece of computer paper on the um, bottom of the box, put the rats inside, one at a time, and I actually had wrote their names on the piece of paper before I put it in the box. And then I just let them walk on the piece of paper. And um, that seemed to work pretty well. I had to do the whole process a couple times. And I just kept the same piece of paper in there. And so it kind of looked like they were walking all over the paper. Um, so yeah, that worked really well. Um, you might have to, I had to press kind of a little bit. Um, to get a good print, and I, I really wanted a very clear print so that I could go to the tattoo artist, but, um, I mean, you, you shouldn't have to really do that. 
especially if you're not doing it for the same purposes. But I know that other people have gotten tattoos of their, their rat's footprints, so I don't know, maybe it'll start becoming a, a new fad. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I just do it for, um, you know, also memorial kind of purposes too. I, I like having things around. I'm a pack rat. Not like a literal rat, but a pack rat. And so I like um, keeping stuff like that, mementos. By the way, Ginny, the, the cage is open. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not keeping her in there. This is just Ginny being Ginny. <laughs> but yeah, so um, let me know if you have any questions about the process. But um, I mean, as long as you use, the, the main thing is to use a non-toxic washable um, ink and then let, let them step on it. Um, wash it off. I, I had just had a damp um, paper towel on me and then when their turn was done I wiped off their feet. <laughs> She's gonna escape again. And that was it. And then um, if anyone is interested, I mean I guess I can talk about the tattoo process a little bit, but um, I mean not the actual process, process but um, if you want actual prints of your rat, you're gonna need to bring in as clear of a print as possible and then um, th they're gonna trace the exact paw print from the paper so you really need you would you would need a print from all four of theirs or if, you know you could do like I did where it was kind of <laughs> a mixture of a couple rats um, you know that works well too um, but you just need a clear print for all four of them um, it's really hard for them. I'm pretty much impossible to do it just from a picture. So you really need, you know, just like just taking, like holding up their feet and taking a picture like that, that wouldn't really work. So you really need to get their paw prints for it to work well. So, um, yeah, ask me any questions about the process. Um, I really recommend doing it for people who like that kind of stuff. I know some people would think that it's kind of like weird or whatever, <laughs> but um, I've gotten a lot of compliments on my paw prints and I love them so much so I'm really happy I did it um, and, and the compliments come from not just rat owners but also people who don't have rats so um, so yeah so um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, kind of something different um, leave a comment below if you like and um, thanks for watching bye